How old do you think I am? Hi, I'm Karen. Welcome to my channel. How old do you think I am? This is me. So just write something in the comment section down below. Try and guess how old I am. Now I'm going to share in this video, I'm going to share my tips and tricks of looking younger. So I'm going to share them with you and we're going to create this look that in my opinion makes me look younger by at least 10 years. According to me, of course, that's what I think. I think that this makeup makes me look, we know what, five years younger, ten years younger. But it really enhances my natural features. So if you want to see how I achieved this look, then please keep on watching. Well, I'm going to start. This is my face before. I only have skincare on and SPF. This is the most important thing. The most important tip that I can give you to look younger is take care of your skin. That means moisturize. That means hydrate your skin. Drink more water. Um, so avoid things like alcohol and smoking and junk food. So take care of your body, it will take care of your skin and it will help you look younger. So this is the first and most important thing and of course use SPF, use sunscreen. Uh, from an early age, the early you try, you start, the better. So this is the first thing is taking care of your skin and doing your skincare. So I am post skincare. I already applied my sunscreen. It is a mineral sunscreen. So you can see that I'm a bit white, but um, we're going to correct that a bit. Second thing I want to say is don't use heavy foundations. Now I had a video about it, um, I think two months ago. Uh, I can link it if you want and there I show the do and don'ts if you want to look younger. You can check that out as well. I'm going to start with a tint. I'm going to start with my Colourpop Pretty Fresh Tinted... Where is it? Is it focusing? Don't focus on me, focus on that. Are you kidding me right now? Yeah. Okay, this is the Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. Uh, if this is a bit light for you, you can mix it with a bronzing, bronzing drops or a darker shade um, tint, not foundation, or bronzing drops. I'm using this one from Nude Sticks. This is in the shade 10. So this is really dark. I usually use my the back of my hand, but recently I bought this and I'm using it. It's clean, just looks, just doesn't look clean, but it is. So I'm just taking a very small, I'm shaking this nude stick and taking a very small pump, just like that, and adding this tint from Colourpop to it and just mixing them together. You can do it on the back of your hand. It will look like that, but this is a tint, so we shouldn't worry. But this just, you need to apply it with your hands. No brush is needed, no sponge, just your hand. Trust the process. I am going to shear it out and it will make me look youth, younger. Why? Because Usually younger people are tanner and their faces are plumpier and they just, you know, if you look at a baby, usually babies are plumpy. Have you ever seen a baby that is not plumped? Maybe, but most of the babies are plumped. Now, I covered my entire face 
with this tint and it's a tint you can see it is it's a tint do not please do not use heavy coverage foundation i do recommend using a tint and not a foundation now we're going to take our concealer and spot conceal just before that i want to give some hydration to my lips because they are very very dry i'm losing i'm losing i'm using this Too faced lip injection Extre extreme instant and long-term lip plumper will it plump my lips well it usually does now if you're allergic or you don't like the sensation of lip plumpers then just use a lip balm or a lip oil but hydrate your lips they will thank you hydration 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 moisturization the spf these are the most important things so don't do heavy foundation uh, after we foundation foundationed we tinted our face you can see i'm definitely tinted i did take it down to my neck a bit so we won't have differences in tones because that will look really really ridiculous i'm using my sigma well you can't really see this is the spectrum color correcting duo mine is in light to medium this is how it looks like it has two shades one is more pink one is more peach i'm uh, lighter and darker i'm going to take the lighter one the pinky one this one this pinky one and of course with my finger and I'm going to dab it under my eyes this will give me instant brightness under my eyes and I really love this product but sometimes I just neglect it and use other products this is the problem with having a big collection of makeup there are products that you love but you kind of neglect using but this is a very good product if you want something from the drugstore there is the elf color correcting one i have it in peach that i really enjoy using of course you can choose the shade according to what you want to hide i want to hide my dark circles so I'm using a peach pinky kind of shade. Ah, okay. I'm going to take the darker one. It's a slightly darker shade. If that will zoom in, that would be great. This one. And if I have places I want to correct, I will use this one. But very small amount very tiny amount of product nothing too heavy again we don't want the base to be very dewy and heavy this is light light touch coverage now if i have for example this thing here i just want to give it a very very subtle coverage that's it for me i don't need more than that uh, next up, we'll do the brows. I have this one from Kiko Milano. It's a duo. One side is a pencil, one side is a mascara. I'm going to start with the mascara. Mine is in the shade 01. So I'm just uh, coloring my brows with this mascara because I want to make them fuller because when your brows are fuller, uh, basically you look younger with age we lose well not all of us but some of us lose pigment in our brows and hair and that makes a huge huge difference so I'm using a mascara I will let it dry for a second and then go with a pencil I really enjoy this very small tip from the Kiko Milano mascara wand. Okay, 
um next up we need to bronze now i recommend using a concealer in a bronzing shade for example this is from la girl this is their pro conceal conceal co high definition concealer mine is in the shade beautiful bronze so this is definitely a dark shade for me i can't use that as a concealer but i can use this as a um, bronzer let's just swatch it here so you can see the shade oh you can't really see so on my hand this is the shade it is dark i can't use it as a concealer but i can use it as a bronzer so I'm just bronzing where I always bronze in the perimeter of my forehead and on my cheekbones above my cheekbones basically just like that and I'm going to use a brush this time I'm going to take my brush my um, bronzer brush and just brush and I'm brushing upwards not downwards upwards because I want to lift lift to lift my well to lift everything because everything is saggy these days I'm wondering if you guessed how old I am so do write it in the comments section down below and I will let you know if you are correct okay so I'm bronzed and don't forget the hairline hairline is very important now uh, I'm using the same shade on my lids uh, as eyeshadow I'm not going to use an eyeshadow I'm just going to use this one on my lid so I'm taking what's left or squeeze let's squeeze a bit more that's the thing about these sometimes you squeeze more and so much comes out you kind of regret doing that so I tried not to squeeze that much. This part I'm going to do with my sponge. Of course, it's damped. I want. I don't want to have very sharp edges. So another tip is not to use powders. If you see everything here, everything is cream. Use cream products. Don't use powders now i know some of you are oily you have oily skin so look for products that are more creamier within the powders there are uh, powders that are a bit more creamier than normal powders do try to avoid avoid powders okay next up i have to go back to my um brows and i'm going to take the pencil side of the same Kiko and just add a tiny bit more not too much but again I want to have fluffy youthful looking brows but without going over the top not too much that's definitely enough don't exaggerate now we really need to blush I'm using a cream blush from Colourpop. This one is in the shade Coyote, 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 I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, this is how the shade looks like. It looks intimidating, but you will see in a minute that it's not. I'm going to swatch it. Now you do use brown, brown, bright colors bright colors give us more vitality and they make us look younger it just it is what it is uh, so i am 
uh, I want to lift. So in order to lift, I have to uh, place my uh, blush here and on the top. I didn't apply anything. I'm just with a clean finger just showing you here and going on the top. So if it's too pigmented, so I'm just using one uh, finger as the bl uh, brush and adding product with one finger and with the other finger I'm tapping it and blending. Now I want to take it upwards because I want to give an appearance of lift. Of course everything here is appearance. Appearance of lift. We're not doing any lifting. So we can look, we can see side by side. This side is a bit more lifted. A bit. I'm not, you know, it's not plastic surgery here. I'm taking a bit more and doing the other side. I can always go back and add more. I can always go back and add more. If I want more, I can add more. If it doesn't look too blushy for my taste, I can always add more. So this is the shape, a C shape around your eyes. Now I do take a clean finger and tap it a bit more. And if I accidentally added too much, I can take my damp brush, a, a brush. I'm holding a sponge and saying a brush, my damp blur, um, sponge. What's going on? And just absorbing the axis. This is it, we blushed. Now, if you want, you can add some blush to your leads as well. I'm not going to do that now. For highlighter, I'm using this one. This is called Super Dewy No Shade from Tower 28. This is a clear, clear, creamy highlighter. It has a consistency of a lip balm. There's nothing here. I'm just adding it. Wait, what's the, this hair is here? I'm just adding it here to give myself a bit, a bit of shyness. Nothing too much. Again, this is a neutral look that is designed to make us look younger, healthier, plumpier. I'm not sure about this lip plumper. I don't even feel it, so I'm not really sure. Oh, I use a dirty finger on this one. Bad. My bad. And I don't know, I don't feel anything on my lips. So just very subtle, very not over the top. Now, I do think that I apply too much bronzer on my hairline, so I'm going to absorb the excess with my sponge. And if I feel like I applied too much, of the bronzer or the blush, I can also take my beloved sponge and do that. Now I do feel that I need to use the sponge a bit and give it a very, very thin layer. Okay, next up eyes. I'm going to do something very simple with the eyes. I'm going to take this one from Kiko Milano in the shade 02. This is called uh, 3 in 1 12 hour long lasting eyeshadow and eye pencil. Mine is in the shade 02. I'm going to take the brown side and this is also important. Uh, when you are doing your eyes I don't recommend applying black eye pencil under your eyes. I'm referring you back to that video that I just talked about. If you will uh, put very dark black or dark brown even under your eyes, a thick line, 
it will make you look older so please refrain from doing that i'm going to take this and outline the outer corner of my eye that's it you can see that made a lift it made a difference i'm going to do it of course on the other side just like the tight line only the outer corner you don't have to go over everything now i'm taking a very light this is i think a nude shade by essence this is an inner eye brightening pen this is from essence if i'm not mistaken it was a dollar or two dollars something like that i am going to apply this here in my inner corner because inner corner can really brighten can you see the differences so again I'm just enhancing and brightening the inner corner and I'm taking the same color and applying it in the Uh, let's say quarter of the lower uh, waterline <laughs> just until the eyeball not all the way and that is a great great pencil it's very very creamy and it's very very affordable what can go wrong okay um lastly we need to do the lips so i do recommend using a lip pencil i have here my essence this is called uh, hugs and teddies this is by Essence, very, very affordable lip liner. This is the shade, very nude -y. So whatever nude shade you have, I recommend using. And I'm just, oh, I need to remove this. Of course, I always forget to bring tissue paper. I need to have a tissue paper here on my desk, but my desk is so full, there's no room for anything else. Too much makeup. Okay, I am outlining but not all the way. I am not, not uh, applying the lip liner in the corners just on top and just on the bottom and outlining that means that I'm applying it outside of my um, normal lip shape what's wrong with me I'm losing the words but you will get it right just here and here above the shape of the lip and then I'm just using uh, I'm taking my Fenty Beauty gloss balm this one is in the shade Fussy 02. Oh, I showed you the this instead of this, but this is Fussy. Now I can smell this all day. Mm. And not stop. What I love about this, it's so comfortable on the lips. The shade is gorgeous. I have another shade here. I have also the shade Sweet Mouth also one of my favorites it's a nice shade it's very very creamy and very very comfortable on the lips which is for me a game changer if it's not comfortable on the lips i will not wear it that's it we're ready this is the final look now i am again curious to know what age you think i am so do let me know in the comment section down below uh so let's just recap the most important things first of all moisturization moisturization and hydration 
and taking care of your skin and wearing SPF. I recommend mineral SPF, but that's you do you, you do whatever you want. This is my recommendation. I use mineral SPF, moisturize, hydrate, avoid junk food. All of these things are poison. Okay, we are poisoning our bodies with uh, junk food and you know our water sometimes are not a hundred percent clean so do use filtered water drink filtered water or mineral water start from within if you want to look younger you have to start from within and the younger you start with the spf the better that's one second uh avoid very heavy foundations avoid very heavy uh, uh, black color under your eyes okay these are the most important things always try and use cream products that makes us younger powder powder uh, products will usually makes you look older again if you're oily skin and you don't have a choice then use powder but my recommendation is use cream and of course using light color in your eyes makes a huge difference a huge difference that's it i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give this video a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe before you leave join my family here on youtube and let me know what did you guess how old do you think i am okay i will catch you all in my next video bye